This last Sunday, Pastor Ernie talked about standing in faith for your friends. The scripture was out of Luke 5, where a paralyzed man was brought before Jesus by his friends, who by their faith, the man was healed. At the end of the sermon, we were left with the the take home using the acronym BLESS, which is what I wanna talk about a little bit more today. So how many times have you struggled with something just so deep that you couldn't even pray? How many times have you known of someone else who was going through something and maybe they asked for prayer because they couldn't pray for themselves? We all have those moments, right? Or those even seasons in our life. And that is why it is so important to have friends, to have other believers around you, or even to be that friend for somebody else. This is the way that the body of Christ functions to keep the body whole and healthy. And so the take home bless is just a great way to do that. When we break it down, the B, the B stands for begin in prayer. You know, a lot of times people are embarrassed or ashamed about the things in their life and they just don't want to ask for help or they're, you know, they're too scared to ask for prayer. So we ourselves begin with prayer. We allow God to direct us to the person who needs us, right? We ask God to show us who he is calling us to and then we just begin to pray for that person over and over again. L is for listen. You know, when you are with a person whom you've been praying for, take the time to listen. Just like Ernie said, you know, don't listen to them, but listen for them. Listen for their struggles. Listen for their pain. Listen for what is missing from their life. E is for eat. (laughs) Invite them to share a meal with you. You know, some of the best and most meaningful conversations happen over a meal. And at a table is where a lot of trust is built and friendships are made. The S is for serve. You know, when you get to know someone, truly know them, then you learn what they need or you learn what they want. And then you can begin to serve them in a way that shows them that you actually do care about them, that you actually do love them, that you see them for who they are and where they are. The second S is for story. I have seen great victories happen in people's lives because someone shared their story with them. Testimonies are incredibly powerful. People need to know, you know, where we've come from, what God has done in our lives to lead us to where we are now. They need to know that they're not alone, right? That they are not the only ones going through whatever it is that they're going through. We are the church, right? We are the body of Christ. And if we claim the name of Jesus, then we cannot just sit by and watch our friends or our family drown in darkness. We have to have the courage to stand up for one another. We have to have the courage to fight for one another. And we must take a stand to choose to love our brothers and our sisters. And bless is just an easy guide to follow to get something started. Don't wait until tomorrow. Take a few minutes today, just a few minutes out of your day and begin in prayer, trusting and having the faith that God will come through for you, that he will answer you, that he will give you the name of someone who needs you. And if you are someone who is struggling and you want prayer right now, then reach out. You can call the church office at 928-362-8910. Uh, There is a button on our app for prayer requests. You can fill out the form there. Or you can even visit our website at tcaz.us forward slash prayer. And there's a prayer form there you can fill out. We have a whole team, whole prayer team ready and available to pray for you and with you. None of us were meant to do this life alone. And if you never know who's, and, and you never know whose life you could be transforming by just, you know, investing in a little bit of time into their life, by by showing them that you love them, that you care for them, that you see them, that you are with them, that they're not alone. Lives can be changed by this. Let's be the church that Jesus needs us to be. I love you guys.